Hey guys, welcome back to Gretchen's Bakery. We are going back to the classics. Who doesn't love a banana cream pie, right? But, of course, you know me. I've always got to get my chocolate fix in there. Obviously, it doesn't have to be a black bottom if you don't want to put chocolate into this recipe like I always do. Actually, a black bottom banana cream pie is a very classic dessert. Chocolate with banana custard, fresh bananas in there, and whipped cream topping. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. It's a very simple dessert to make. It's actually no bake, which is good. We don't have to turn the ovens on at all. Okay, so I lied and used a regular pie dough for this, and of course that part had to be baked. But if you want to go 100% no bake, you can use a cookie crust instead. You can always use um, basically like the classic, either a graham cracker crust or Nilla wafers, or if you're in the UK, uh, digestive biscuits, anything, any kind of cookie really that you like will work as a crust for this pie. Um, so anyway, check out how easy it is and how amazing this is going to be. So let's get started. All right, so for the custard, you will need cornstarch, sugar, any milk alternative of your choice, vegan butter, salt, turmeric for color, water, and vanilla extract. Oh, and bananas, of course. So first get the cornstarch mixed with the water and then get the bananas into a food processor or a blender and puree. I used two medium sized bananas for one cup of puree and that was perfect for this recipe. Now get the coconut milk or whatever milk you're using and just get one that is higher in fat like soy or oat milk if you don't want to use the coconut milk. Add the sugar, salt and turmeric and bring it up to a full rolling boil. Once it boils, add the cornstarch slurry and whisk it constantly. Add the vegan butter and then boil it out for another 30 seconds. Then you're going to add the banana puree and the vanilla extract off the heat and whisk it all smooth. By now, your pie shell should be baked and cooled, and the ganache, which was just a simple combination of boiled milk alternative and vegan chocolate, gets poured into the bottom of the shell. Sliced fresh bananas to cover that chocolate, and then the hot custard goes over top of that. Cool everything in the refrigerator for at least two hours or until it's super set. Then top it with coconut whipped cream and basically coconut whipped cream is just the fat skimmed off a can of cold coconut milk. If you whip that up with some sugar and vanilla, you have a very stable, very delicious vegan whipped cream. Garnish with some shaved chocolate and dried banana slices and you have yourself a black bottom banana cream pie that will win awards, I can tell you what. No one is going to know this is vegan because it is super creamy, super rich, just like the real deal. I do hope you will try this recipe, so head on over to Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com to grab the written printable recipe. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give me a like. Also, please give me a sub to my channel if you're not already for more of the greatest bakery style recipes each week. A great big thank you to everyone for watching and visiting me here on my channel as well as going to my blog. You guys are the best. But a very special thank you to my patrons in Patreon as well as my pals in PayPal. By the way, I forgot a couple people on my last video credit and I am so sorry. How embarrassing. So Jackie and Anthony, apologies to you. You both have been supporting me for a very long time and I thank you so much. If I forgot anyone else, I am so sorry. Patreon has been really weird lately with the way they're generating my list for patrons. So if I did forget you, please email me and I will definitely be sure to add you to the top of the list on the next video credit. Your support is the only reason I'm able to keep going here. So if you think you can help support me and Gretchen's Bakery for as little as a dollar a month, click the links below to find out how. I do appreciate the support so much, you have no idea. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your week. I'll see you again soon. Until then, happy baking. Bye for now.